sentence for unlawful imprisonment carrying a concealed weapon. Police reportedly found Taylor struggling with a man while putting a gun to his stomach. Hello, Honorable Judge O'Brien. My name is Brian Taylor. I would like to start with my speech by saying sorry to the victim, Shaquan Smith. And I start also to you, Your Honor, for presenting myself in the court in the game. These four months that I have been incarcerated, I have thought of a methodical plan to ensure I never go to prison ever again. I want to go back to school to finish my major business management at Eastern Michigan University. I want to involve myself around people that I grew up with that had positive goals. In conclusion, Your Honor, I would like to apologize to the victim and get I'm truly sorry. I am asking you to sentence me to 36 months, please, instead of 42, because I have a seven-year-old brother that looks up to me, and I need to be there for him as a young thing to show him how to grow as a mature young adult. Thank you, Your Honor, for your consideration and letting me speak. Hello there, yeah, I want to say I'm sorry for the things I've done, and I try and be stronger in this life I chose, but I want you to know that door I closed, and you're running on some, 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 some. To my mother, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. To the victim, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, Your Honor, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Well, you're obviously a talented young man, and I hope that you'll be able to use your time productively when you're in the Michigan Department of Corrections to take a very, you know, advantage of the programs that they have so we will be able um, to reach your goals. Despite his performance, Judge O'Brien explains the minimum guideline range for his crimes is 50 to 100 months, regardless of his talent. Taylor sentenced to two years for illegally carrying a concealed weapon and another 18 months to 15 years for unlawful imprisonment. Next, we take you to Bond Court in Brevard County, Florida. In this corner of the screen, we have the defendant, Brandon Justice. He's charged with domestic violence against his living girlfriend. Just below him is the prosecutor. Over in this corner is the defense attorney. And rounding out the group is the judge, Ali B. McLean. Justice and his girlfriend have a child together. She asked for help in child care one evening. Justice responded with a mean-spirited rap. Yes, a rap song about her. The man out the hair that burnt. When confronted about his behavior, Justice allegedly punched a hole in the bathroom door and struck the victim. He then told her if she went to the police, it would start a war between them. Judge Eugene doesn't appreciate the sentiment. We got a whole bunch of wars going on. I don't think we can handle another one, sir. I don't want to start another one. <laughs> no one of you, my sex. They said you were rapping a verse about her. But you were drinking so much you forgot. Todd, do you remember the verse now? Uh, no, sir. Let's hear it. Let me hear it. It might help you. It might not. I heard you. Let me hear it. Okay. Are you ready now? Uh, this is me up in my mind, suddenly secluded. This is me giving time, everything's close to me. Now I don't even know, but everybody wants to do it. Tell me what to tell me to do. Uh, yeah, 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 I know. I'm in like a situation where I don't want to rap. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. All right? It's a bad omen. There are men being up there, man. And you can listen to this without fail. If you don't raise bail, you're going to stay in jail. <laughs> <laughs> but this judicial MC isn't finished with his diss track just yet. You probably don't like the beat, but I'm going to set your bond and you can have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> when his rap concluded, Judge Majeed gets back to business. Before making his decision, he wants to hear first from the prosecution. What do you say, Mr. B? He looks like his first offense. I don't think he's the main judge. Uh, the police are going to start a war. Start a war. We can't have that. We got enough wars. I don't think he should be out at all. We object anyone because he just left to follow up on what he said he was going to do. Mr. Kennedy, 
The judge sets the Barron's total bond at $500, but just below him, the public defendant has something he wants to say about the disabled veteran. Your Honor? Yes. On behalf of the defense, if I may, I'm going to do what? You're going to send a Johnny Cash song and said, oh, Your Honor, that's the last thing you want on a terrible singer. What I was going to ask, Your Honor, is um, this Mr. Rivera is a disabled veteran. Mr. Rivera has a extremely minor criminal history. And Your Honor, in my time as a defense attorney, I have had the scene countless times that our disabled veterans self medicate using cannabis. These are people that we send overseas to defend our freedoms. They come home broken. We don't do anything to help. Judge McGee takes the attorney's statement under consideration. What about the amount of duties, sir? How many years? I had two years after duties, I'm a chairman, now I went to the service. But uh, you have all the better under the service, and you can avoid getting over very grateful. I appreciate it. Mr. Bond, you're under the end of the picture. Even though his song request went unfulfilled, the judge cuts Rivera a break, lowers his bond to $350. I wish you well. Yes, sir. Next, we're going inside the Coddington County Courthouse in Waterton, South Dakota. That's Sheriff's Deputy Mike Morgan. And on the other side of the camera is one of his fellow officers. The officers are the only two people left in the courthouse. They patiently wait until the building emptied out today. So there will be no witnesses for what they're about to attempt. Morgan, who moonlights as a singer, says he'd always wanted to test the acoustics in the old courthouse. As a former Marine Corps member, the Star Spangled Banner seems like the obvious choice here. The rich sound doesn't disappoint, and neither does the deputy. After the sheriff's department posts the video online, Morgan is shocked when his patriotic performance goes viral getting more than 5 million views. His newfound fame leads to several TV interviews and numerous invitations to perform at major events around the country and an appearance on court camp. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.
share and subscribe.